IMO 2004, given an acute triangle ABC, the circle with diameter BC, intersects sides AB and AC at points M and N respectively. Let O be the midpoint of side BC. The angle bisectors of angles BAC and MON intersect at point R. Prove that the circumcircles of triangles BMR and CNR have a common point lying on side BC. Let omega and gamma be the circles with diameters BC and AH respectively, where H is the orthocenter of triangle ABC. Let D be the midpoint of AH, R prime is the intersection of OD and gamma. We have angle BNA equals angle CMA equals 90 degrees. Thus M and N lie on gamma, the circle with diameter AH. Therefore MN is the radical axis of circles omega and gamma. It follows that OD is the perpendicular bisector of MN, also the bisector of angle MON. This is point 1. Hence R prime M equals R prime N. So R prime is the midpoint of R MN on circle gamma. Hence AR prime is the bisector of angle MAN. This is point 2. From these two facts, R prime coincides with R, the intersection of bisectors of angles ABC and MON. Let F be the intersection of the circumcircles of triangles BMR and CNR. We have angle RFB equals angle AMR, angle RFC equals angle ANR. So the sum of angles RFB and RFC equals the sum of angles AMR and ANR, which equals 180 degrees, because quadrilateral AMRN is cyclic. Therefore F lies on side BC, which was to be proved. Remark, let O1 and O2 be the circumcircles of triangles BMR and CNR. Then BM is the radical axis of O1 and omega. CN is the radical axis of O2 and omega. FR is the radical axis of O1 and O2. The three radical axes BM, CN and FR concur at point A, the radical center of the three circles. Hence points A, R and F are collinear meaning F is the foot of the angle bisector from A in triangle ABC. Remark, if the center of any circle passing through points B and C intersects sides AB and AC at points M and N, then point R moves along the bisector of angle BAC, and the two circles, called O1 and O2, pass through a fixed point F, when R is the reflection of L, the in-center of triangle ABC. Then we have the IMO 2024 problem 4, 